Today we will learn about solar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs when new moon comes between the earth and the sun and three of them they are aligned. Then the moon obstructs the light from the sun and casts a shadow on the earth. People in this shadow, which is also called total shadow or umbra, will see the sun dark and thus the solar eclipse will happen. So solar eclipse occurs on the new moon day when the sun, the moon and the earth are aligned and moon casts a shadow on the earth. Now we will learn more about solar eclipse by ray diagram. In order to draw the ray diagram of solar eclipse, draw three circles. The first circle should be of diameter of three finger width and the second one should be of one finger width and the third one that of two finger width. The distance between the first and the second circle should be three finger width and between second and third it should be two finger width. This uh, biggest circle will represent the sun. The smallest circle will represent the moon and intermediate circle will represent the earth. So let's see how the sun rays are coming and how they are being obstructed to cast the shadows. From the upper end of uh, this bigger circle to the smaller circle draw a line like this to represent a ray of light from the sun. Another one like this. Now also draw rays which go oblique. Draw arrowheads to show the path of rays coming from the sun. This portion will have the total shadow and the light will be completely obstructed by the moon that is coming from the sun. This uh, total shadow is called umbra. So people or the observer at this place on the earth will see the sun as a dark body and this portion will receive the partial light and is called the numbra. Now another situation can arise after approximately 10 years when the earth will be slightly away and the rays will go like this and if earth is here then people in this area will see annular eclipse. So the eclipses can be total eclipse, partial eclipse, annular eclipse and the hybrid of these depending upon the position of the earth and solar eclipse occurs on new moon day and when the sun, the moon and the earth they are aligned perfectly. So this is the ray diagram and you must practice to draw it and if you will keep the proportions right of the diameters and the separation then you will get reasonably good ray diagram of solar eclipse.